What's up guys, David here, and who doesn't like a rematch? Today, we have not the Snapdragon, but the Exynos variant of the Galaxy S7 going head to head with the reigning speed test champ in the iPhone 6S Plus. Last time, the iPhone put the smackdown on the Snapdragon variant of the S7, so the question is, will the global Exynos variant redeem Samsung's latest flagship? Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so we'll kick this thing off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then jump into this all new obstacle course where the Galaxy S7 and its quick animations gets the jump over the iPhone 6S Plus. But that lead doesn't last for long with the iPhone just ripping through Subway Surf and already moving on to TrueScape. So for those of you who saw the last speed test where we put the Exynos S7 against the Snapdragon S7, you know that the Exynos version flat out dominated. So it'll be interesting to see how it does here against the iPhone, which just embarrassed the Snapdragon version in an earlier speed test. And so far, it's keeping up with the iPhone, only being one app behind, so there is still time for a comeback. And that comeback may just be during this part on Lapsit, where both phones have to create a time lapse from the same exact video file. But two cores or not, the iPhone blazed through Lapsit at what looks like what was a much faster rate than the 8 core Galaxy S7, putting it a full two apps ahead in this speed test. So if the Galaxy S7 is going to make a comeback, it's going to have to do it soon, as the iPhone 6S Plus has proven that it can handle multitasking without breaking a sweat in the second lap. Which speaking of, the iPhone 6S Plus is about to enter, with it finishing the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 12 seconds, with the Galaxy S7 right behind it clocking in 8 seconds later with a time of 1 minute and 20. So in the second lap, it usually comes down to which phone can keep more apps ready to go in the background. But because of the lead the iPhone built for itself in that first lap, even if the S7 had all the apps ready, it'll still take the iPhone fumbling on at least one app in order for the S7 to pull off a last minute comeback. And as you can see, that didn't happen here, with the iPhone having most of the apps ready, racing it to the finish line with a total time of 1 minute and 45 seconds. And while the Galaxy S7 did good in this second lap, it wasn't quite good enough with it finishing 10 seconds later with a total time of 1 minute and 55 seconds. Alright, alright, so the Exynos S7 was 8 seconds slower in the first lap and only 2 seconds slower in the second lap, making it the loser, but a respectable loser, which is something you couldn't really say about the Snapdragon variant. But nonetheless, the winner and still Fumble Style Speed Test Champ is the iPhone 6S Plus. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.